this is not an easy project. I don't know why I thought this would go smooth in less than an hour, but I don't even know what time it is, but I know it's been probably been an hour or almost an hour since I've started this. Um, whew, okay, so. A few moments later. I saw someone do this on uh, another YouTube video and I'll put her channel down below because I want to give her the credit because she was the one that I got this whole idea of using the Clorox cleaning bleach gel. I was considering getting an off-brand but I got the Clorox branded one and um, overall like the shower looks good but I still feel like I see some hard water stains that just are, are not moving. And then I also see like, like it's subtle, but like stripes on the wall to where you can see where the bleach hit and then where the dirt hit. So I'm trying to figure out should I have let this soak longer than what I did because it seems like every stream of liquid um, that poured down the wall, that's the part that looks white. So should I dump it on the other parts that, you know, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure we've used like a little more than half of this bottle feels like maybe where the yellow part is so I mean overall let me show you guys overall not too shabby when my husband gets home and takes a peek at it he will definitely see that it's definitely a difference so I can definitely give it to you. Definitely look a little whiter. It, look, it almost blends in together. Um, <clears throat> now I know you can still see some, some, you know, some issues over there. That's not my fault. The department came like that, so I we gonna we gonna have to disregard that. Um, <clears throat> and you'll see, like, you know, there's some issues there. There, that's all them. Those are like tiles that have separated and. Etc. But I've scrubbed everything I could. Majority of the top looks good. Let me see if I can get a close up. Maybe you guys can still see some of these watermarks or whatever this is. I don't know. I scrubbed it and scrubbed it and scrubbed it, and <clears throat> it is not budging. Uh, this looks like when they painted over the shower per cheap apartment. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it's nothing I can do about that part. But every time I come to take a shower, this part always reminds me of a little baby, like crisscross applesauce or on his knees playing with a toy. And, and another thing I wanted to note while cleaning is that I showed you in the video, but um, it seems like some kind of caulk, caulking came off of that, the edges of the, um, the little thingamajig, I don't know what you call it. So. This stuff has to be strong, so strong that it made the caulk peel right off. So just be mindful of that. <clears throat> I had to grab a mask because this stuff is it's potent. It doesn't start off that way, but <clears throat> it will make you cough, okay? It will make you cough. So you definitely want to put a mask. You can't say you don't have a mask now because ever since COVID, we all should have masks, some kind of mask. Even if you have to get a used mask, like you used it before, the day before, just put that on because you don't want this going inside. It's, um, now, my expectations, I just expect this bathroom to smell super, 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 uber good um, <laughs> once all of this dries out. So I'm looking forward to that part. Like bleach always smells so good. My grandma was a bleach slinger herself, so I'm, you know, I'm gonna keep it running in the family, but we just gotta be wise with the products and <clears throat> try not to inhale too much of that. So let me just put this, Ooh, put this back on while I'm talking to you guys but this is pretty much the end of the video um, I am tired nobody told me it was gonna be that much hard work so never again next time my husband's doing this cuz no no thank you <laughs> uh, <clears throat> still like I said still have some hard water stains um, so I'll probably have to do something else to get that out but I'm not worrying about that I want to focus on this um, bathroom's makeover so I but I really want you guys to stay with me I have like two or three more videos coming for the bathroom remodel for the final touch. So make sure you guys join me. So don't don't count this video as, oh, I don't think it's going to be good. Trust me, these next two are going to be the most fun. This is just the cleaning section and we're preparing 
to actually do some bigger work in here. So tomorrow, my wallpaper will be arriving, AKA contact paper, and um, we're gonna be installing that. That's gonna be the more fun part. I'm excited to do that, but I know it's gonna be a job in itself, so once I start, there's no regrets. <laughs> there's no stopping, we have to keep going. <laughs> I can't even allow myself to regret starting the job because it's, it's too much. We just have to keep the momentum going, so. You guys, make sure you uh, join me for part three. I'm really looking forward for you guys to join me on part three of this bathroom makeover. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and this kind of content. Home decorating and staging, DIY tips and tricks, and then we have these other little projects. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and like this kind of content. There is so much more to come. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that you will not miss part three. All right, guys, and thank you so much for watching. Until we meet again, bye-bye.